Hello and good evening, folks. Today is Wednesday. Um, it's a wonderful, warm day. I'm pretty excited about today. Um, yeah, and welcome to Food is Medicine. It is hosted by myself, uh, David Monias, and Karen Swain. Why not give us a good wave there so we can see them? Nice, nice. How lovely. Um, today will be, oh, actually, I do have some things to discuss. As, al as always, I always like to say that through movie magic, we are socially distancing and you will, um, we are taking safety precautions. I am unmasked for today, but no one who is near me is near me. We have our camera guy in the other room, kind of away from me, which is nice. Um, and obviously, I'm going to be disinfecting this entire area once I'm done. So. I don't want to encourage people not wearing masks, but do mask up. All right. Well, with that said, we are going to get on to today's recipe. Today's recipe is chicken fried rice. And it's kind of made with an, a budget in mind. Uh, you'll kind of see some of the ingredients today, kind of like Minute Maid rice. Personally, I do kind of prefer a little bit different rice. I like brown rice, but today, just for time's sake and just the fact that Minute Maid rice can be kind of cheap and very available. Um, depending on what stores you go to, whether that be Giant Tiger, Superstore, anywhere, we are going to be using this today. And that's probably what we're going to get started on first. We do have some other cheaper options. And I'll go over some of the other things that we have today. And we have some fresh vegetables, everything like that. And one thing we do need before we get started is a pot and preferably something you can use as a lid. If you need to, you can use a plate. I have done it. We all been there before. No shame. David, I'm just going to interrupt for one sec. Go for it. Just want to let you know that I've got smudge going as we're cooking and having community time together. I also want to welcome you. All right. Thanks, David. All right. Awesome. Thank goodness. It is a beautiful day and I'm so thankful. And again, as always, we always like to start with our land acknowledgement. We are on Treaty 1 territory, um, uh, the home of the Cree, Ojibwe, Anishinaabe, and in the heart of the Métis Nation. Um, and with that said, let's get on to it. So like I said, we are gonna start with today with a pot. Uh, preferably you need one with a lid or a plate. Uh, it can be any size. Today we are gonna kind of make it um, just to how we ever feel like it today. Um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna start by pouring some Minute Maid rice. I like to make sure I use, in today's recipe, I think I'm gonna use two. If you have bigger families or like to have a lot more, which is really nice because um, the nice thing about fried rice, it's quite easy to make and you'll kind of see that as we go through it. And there's a little bit nice, there's a nice piece to it where you can kind of forget about it. And it is very great for meal prepping. Uh, and it, it can be very vegetable heavy, which is, I, it is something I really like. And I always like to encourage people to include more veggies. So again, two more, two scoops of uh, just plain rice. Depending on like, if you have different rice, I, I would always prefer um, people to wash their rice today. Today, I don't think we need to with a uh, minute made rice. And with that said, because I am using two cups, um, two dry measure cups worth of rice, I'm going to use two cups of uh, water. And I'm going to grab that right now. Pardon me for me being a little bit away. Give me two seconds. And that looks to me about to be two cups. It's going to be perfect. And we always make sure we put it on a dry level just so we can kind of see it and keep it still. Oh, actually, we don't need to put that in right away. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I'm so used to a different kind of rice. Uh, today, I'm just going to pour it off to the side because we're just going to set this water to boil. And then one thing, the nice thing you can do is that we like to include some salt. Uh, depending on like diets or anything like that, uh, please use the appropriate amount for your di concerning for your health. So we put just a tiny bit in there. It could be a teaspoon worth. And just because I have been putting things onto my hands, I did wash them before we started today's session. Um, if you do have margarine or anything like that, you can put like a table 
like mean a tablespoon worth of uh, butter in there. But for now, we're just gonna put this off to the side over here and get this boiling. And we'll leave it in a bit. Once it's boiling, we can kind of get straight into it. Um, the nice thing about today is that actually, how about we just get started on our chicken? So we're gonna start with our chicken. We did provide two, I think, chicken breasts to you. Oh, sorry. Far, there you go. I got some feedback that I need to put it in camera sight. I thought that we were using the front facing camera, my bad. So we did provide some two chicken breasts for you. If you want, I would even just dump it straight into our pan over here. And we're gonna be just using one pan for the most part today. Uh, I like to like cook everything in one go. You can keep the juices in there. I think it adds to it. Uh, I'm just gonna place this over here somewhere, probably in our sink to, for today and I'll clean it up after. And I'm gonna start our, our thing. And I'm gonna cook it on maybe a medium, just kind of get that seasoning going. And what I'm also gonna do, I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil, one that we provided today. And the one thing I do think about this oil though, is that um, normally in my recipes, oh, am I silly? Can I not open this today? It's kind of weird. Maybe I'm silly. I'm gonna trade it out for a different one that is opened. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're just gonna drizzle a little bit on there. Not too much because honestly, um, the grease from the chicken will kind of help itself. Normally, like I said, for my recipe, I do tend to use uh, sesame oil. I didn't provide it today because I did want to keep in mind, um, not everybody is able to kind of get into the international aisles of, of something like a superstore or even like an Asian restaurant, I mean, an uh, Asian store, a uh, supermarket. But today we're just going to use our regular old canola oil. And I'm just gonna kind of sit here and leave that for now. Again, if you do have someone else in the family who's cooking with you today, have them keep an eye on the our rice and when it's boiling and have them keep an eye on this because you know, keeping things off the stove is not always a very great idea, keeping it unintended. But today I'm gonna to be keeping an eye on both and I've been timing this out for you just for an hour or so. But we're gonna be cooking this pretty quickly. I'm gonna maybe turn it up a little bit more and I'm gonna get straight onto our vegetables. So today I have washed some carrots. There should be carrots in, provided in our, um, our vegetables here today. Uh, but what I like to think about like frozen veggies is that sometimes they're not, they aren't always providing that nice crunch we like. And it kind of just nice to add some fresher vegetables. Um, and I'm gonna grab my knife. So we can grab something with a straight edge. It could be uh, serrated. I really prefer something like this, especially if you kind of see that tip there uh, and it should cut through it nicely. I always like to cut off the ends. So we got this off and we got this side off. Actually, I'm gonna cut a little bit deeper because I'm not gonna use as much today. And so, this is kind of where the preference kind of comes in. Today, I'm just not gonna be removing uh, the skin of my carrot here today, but see, there is kind of still some dirt here. And if you are gonna be like me, myself today, uh, I think it is a great idea to make sure you wash it and make sure you get into those nooks and crannies. So I'm just gonna do a quick double take of rinsing this off. Sorry for that. And then once we're kind of get going, we can start just kind of chopping them up. I always like to cut them into smaller chunks relative to, this, relative to the size of my knife. So I'm gonna cut them into smaller bits here. And we're gonna be careful there. Now we have some, two smaller chunks. I'm gonna divide them up again and once more. And you hear that nice crunch. And we're gonna be kind of getting some of that in our, our meal today. And yeah. Hi, Karen. How do you have anything to input or uh, say today? I'll jump in, but I don't need to be spotlighted. Keep it on David. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to let you know that the recipe that came in your bag 
we'll have the uh, the budget, the chicken thighs. And uh, for today, we were really fortunate that we could splurge and get the chicken breast for you all. And uh, um, we hope that you enjoy it. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about rice. Um, we have our own um, rice here in the in our territory. The wild rice grows in our uh, lakes and our rivers and is harvested by canoe and then it's um, dried in the sun and it's shared with our people. So we could even do a version of this recipe with the wild rice and wild rice is very versatile and can be used in savory and sweet. It can be used as a side dish and in addition to soup. Um, I've seen um, little dumplings with wild rice and I've seen um, wild rice pudding. So looks good. So I'm, I'm really glad that we're doing the rice and the minute rice that we're using is a little different from the long grain, but I'm sure that it comes from water as well. And we know that water is one of the main components that we need in our bodies. Um, I believe we're made up of something like 85% or something. I mean, that's, that's really significant. So the, uh, the items that grow in water help to nourish us on all levels, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So, yay. Awesome. Well said, Karen. I'm glad. That, oh, I'm always happy to hear your input and everything you have to say. So this is great. Oh, I guess I should move on. So um, I did cut them to be kind of like diced. You can do thinner. You can do sticks. Uh, it doesn't really matter. I like to have this because it does kind of provide that nice crunch. We're going to move on to our onions. We did provide a half onion for most everybody. Uh, and I'm just going to do a nice little cut. And it should be there. Um, please be careful. Again, and we're always working with knives. This one is a little bit older onion. Mine's a little bit old. I did have to run to the grocery store a little bit because we did have some hiccups. But that is not a big deal. One thing I do like to mention to a lot of people is that sometimes with uh, some of the scraps that we have from like food scraps, is that if you're into composting, these are great for that. But also, if you're willing to keep these parts and some of the other things, some of the discards like this, I actually like to keep some of these just because if you freeze them and put them into and you boil them, you can actually make your own uh, vegetable stock. And that's always perfect for uh, doing um, like soups and stuff like that. And it just gives it that next level kind of like flavor. And of course, I'm just going to do maybe a quarter of my onion today, just because it's me. I'm going to peel off this kind of front layer here. And again, I can save that for later. And we're just going to kind of go with it. Yours might be a lot more fresher than mine. And we're just going to take a moment to kind of dice these up into small sizes. Please don't cry. Uh, <laughs> We gotta tough it out because especially when we're working with knives, we don't want to be closing our eyes and rubbing them. David, and again, always be careful. Pardon? It's Jen. I always Hi, get Jen. told to cut the onions because it always makes me cry so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, please help me. <laughs> oh yeah. I do a lot of um, prep work at my house. So uh, I always like to buy the big bags of onions and then just like freeze them. Uh, cause I never get through them. Cause like, let's be real. It's hard to, <laughs> I, didn't freeze them. So I always freeze them and I kind of keep them there and I'm cool. going to kind of throw these there. And I have a little bit here and I'm actually going to take some of this to my, my oven over there. And we're just going to put a little bit with our chicken. I'm just going to sprinkle them on and that's just going to give it that extra flavor. And now that things are kind of going over here, I'm gonna switch over to our oven for a little bit. First things first, I'm gonna start with our rice. So again, this is about two scoops worth. You do use equal amounts of water per 
rice that you have. And we're just gonna pour it on in. We're just gonna get all that in there. David. Hello? Really, I never. Nice, I never knew that. So I just got. I, I guess somebody got Cameraman Chris. That was me, Karen. One second. Make sure we just stir our rice and take it off any elements or turn off the heat. Someone David, we just have a rice. question. Sorry, Valencia. Is that garlic in the chicken? Pardon? Did you put the garlic in the chicken? You could if you if you're ahead of me, go ahead. Right now, I just put a little bit of the onions in there. Oh, okay. So right. I haven't gone to it just in case some folks aren't really like, familiar working with garlic. If you have minced garlic or even anything prepared, I would just chop it up as thin as. Oh, All sorry. Right, thank you. So I'd move it really, I would like definitely chop it up. It does get quite sticky, but just get as much as in there. It is quite potent. So let's stick to maybe one clove today. And yeah, throw it on in. But for now, I'm also gonna flip my, my, my chicken right here to make sure it cooks thoroughly. I'm cooking on a temperature that's gonna be nice and it's gonna cook all the way. We are gonna cut this once it's kind of chilled a little bit. So keep that in mind. Um, I gotta get a plate for my spatula. Please excuse me. I'm gonna put this off to the side. And of course, when we're always working with raw chicken, always, if this raw chicken gets onto any surfaces, make sure we do clean it. We will uh, get food sicknesses from it. Uh, it will probably only last a day, but it'll really suck. So make sure we're being really careful. And with that said, I'm just gonna let that kind of cook a little bit more and let our rice kind of go. It should only take five minutes for our Minute made rice to kind of settle on in. David. Yes. Part, part of the recipe was to add a couple tablespoons of the soy sauce in with the boiling Ooh, water yes. for the rice. You are so correct. Sorry, I always do that a little bit later. And then it's really up to people's taste too. But let's follow the recipe today. So today I did provide some soy sauce. I don't know it's if you not can see China that. Lily, sorry. I know, I really tried for China Lily. I looked for it. I'm just gonna pour a little bit over here. You don't wanna to put too much. You could even put a cap's worth and kind of just sprinkle it. In the rice, chicken. David. Huh? In the rice. Oh, that's what you meant. Yeah. Pardon me. So again, like we said, I'm just gonna put a little bit in there and just a splash in there. So, just so it can mix, give it that flavor. We can put some more later as well. So if you were like me and you forgot, no worries. Again, we always have happy accents. And we're gonna get started onto our garlic cloves. So with that said, always be careful cutting these. You wanna cut them nice and small. I'm gonna kind of move some of the scraps here. Always be careful working with blades. And we're just gonna cut them as small as we can. If you do have a garlic press, I would encourage you to use that. And always work with just enough. And I'm just gonna kind of mince it up just so it's kind of pretty small. And we can kind of work there. So one thing I did notice on this one, and I'm bringing it up to the overhead camera, is that sometimes there's a sprout. If there is a sprout, we can remove that piece. Um, it does kind of make the, the, the clove a little bit uh, a little bit more bitter. I'm not sure if you can see that well, but sometimes like if we do leave cloves a little bit unguarded for quite a bit, that that sprout will kind of grow and take some of the nutrients and make it quite bitter, but it's still all edible the same. I would definitely work on getting our cloves cooked sooner than later. So if you did get receive some from our kits, feel free to use it with all your recipes as I do have that issue. And I have this garlic here. I'm gonna throw it in with our chicken today. Perfect. And 
once we're kind of doing that, should be good to go. And we're just gonna prepare our green onions at the end of it. I'm just gonna pour, push off our sides there. I'll clean that up later. So these are green onions. I always wash things before I use them. Uh, this one's a little bit sad. It's a little bit not so kind of uh, stiff anymore, but that's okay. If there's any bad pieces, we always kind of just put them off to the side. If they're salvageable and just not looking yummy, we could use them for that vegetable stock that I did talk about earlier. And again, for these, you just kind of line them up and you just kind of like do little slices like this. These ones won't be going in so soon. This will be kind of our garnish. With this one, I did have a smaller stock. So I'm gonna probably stop towards the white here. And then one of our staff members actually provided a really good idea for what you could use with these stocks here. And then I think she's in our chat today. Did she wanna speak up today and give that pro tip on what we could do Hi. with that? So uh, yeah. you can actually, uh, <laughs> uh, I think I actually went to throw to my notes because I was rushing. <laughs> But you can actually keep the bottom part of the stock, like where it starts to turn white, and you just cut it there, and then it has those little sort of like roots coming out the bottom. You can actually put it in like a jar, like this, like or a cup, and just put a little bit of water in it. And uh, you can tie them together with like an elastic, the one that usually comes with like uh, uh, green onions, or if you get like a bunch of them. And then uh, it actually keeps growing, so you can keep growing them yourself. You can just put it in your windowsill, and you just gotta change the water every so often, and you can grow yourself some green onions. So it's pretty cool. Awesome, thank you so much. I love that pro tip. Sustainability, right? So what I'm gonna do with my garnish is kind of put it off to the side. It's just green onions. If you don't like onions, do feel free to omit this from our recipe today. And we're gonna come check up on our chicken and our rice. So it seems like our rice is coming along pretty well. I'm gonna not bother it too much for now. I'm just gonna check in on our chicken. If you want, you could use a butter knife or even just like your, your spatula. I do kind of like to push it and kind of make a cut it in myself. This way it kind of stays warmer and we're not like touching it. We can kind of break it down. Almost kind of like we're browning um, ground beef. And then depending on how well it's defrosted or cooked already, we kind of might want to kind of break it down a little bit more. We're going to break it down quite a bit today. We're going to try to ground it as much as we can. I did want to make this recipe quite simple today because I did. That is why we didn't choose to kind of pre-cut it, um, but that's okay. And again, just keep an eye on your, your garlic and your onions here because they might get a little bit crispy. And we're just gonna kind of like cut them. If you really want, you could provide a like butter knife or something like that, and then maybe kind of cut them that way. They are gonna be quite tender, so they'll kind of rip apart. But I would be careful kind of just making that incision closer to your, your, your pan here, because you don't want to scratch it. Want to make sure these pans live for quite a long time, right? And with that said, like, there is a little going to be a little bit of a lull while we wait for our next set, our next set of food. And I wanted to ask, how are people going? How is it going for a lot of people? Do I need to repeat anything? Are are we seeing a lot of thumbs up from our viewers today? How is it going over there? So far it's going good. I just wish I had a ponytail for my hair, but it's it's all right. Um, my chicken's cooking. My rice is looking like it's a light brown almost. Nice. Um, I don't know. Like it's a little bit like more water in there than there should be, but you just have to, you know, you got to keep stirring in and it comes out. Are you exactly. slicing up the chicken? Like, are you slicing it up? Or are you going to be chopping it up after? So what I was actually just doing there was actually we, if you want to remove it from there, just be careful. It is quite hot. 
You could yeah. bring it back to your cutting board and cut it again, right? Um, okay. What I'm doing there is as it kind of cooks, it kind of gets tender and you yeah. can actually kind of chop it up with your spatula. I and can't talk to you right now. I'm, I'm over here, Tyler. I can't talk right now. Mm -hmm. uh, so like you open it up more? Yeah, you can kind of open up. And I'm going to switch back over here to kind of show you what I'm, my process over here. Yeah. So I'm not too sure if you can see well. So I have like some of the pieces here and I'm just kind of like almost like bringing my spatula down like this and I'm just kind of like wiggling it through and it almost breaks it up and makes it a little bit more kind of chewable and then it actually kind of breaks up once we kind of like stir it around more and it actually kind of makes sure we make um, it's cooked thoroughly right and it's okay if it kind of dries out a little bit um, we are going to be adding some other stuff today. Oh, can't get that one. See, they, they kind of break apart pretty easy. You do it sideways, anyway, and you can just break it up. And I like to break it up into pretty small pieces just so everybody kind of gets uh, pieces of chicken when we serve it. And... So maybe... It I'll go through the list of participants and do a check-in if that's okay. Yeah, Marie, how about let's go through that. Marie, you're doing okay now with that extra instruction? Okay, thank you. Uh, how about Zoe, Ikwe, Kenzie, and Melissa? How are you guys doing? Melissa, how are you guys doing? Hi. We're good. Zoe's just cooking the veg or sauteing the vegetables right now. And um, then, yeah, we're doing good. Awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty straightforward recipe, right? <laughs> Pardon me? It's a pretty straightforward recipe, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, I have, like, I remember when I was younger and when I learned this recipe, I was, I was like, how do people cook this stuff? And then <laughs> realistically, it's just a little bit of like taking it slow with everything here, right? Okay, we want to check on some of our other participants there as well. Sure. sure. Hey, Peter, how's it going? You thumbs up from Peter. Uh, Phoebe, how's it going? Thumbs up from Phoebe. Felicia, any questions? How are you doing? Um, I'm doing good. I've done my chicken. Ooh, nice. My rice is almost done, and I'm making bacon. Oh, nice! Yeah, fresh mushrooms. Nice, nice. Yeah. But did you want to see my bacon? It's lovely. <laughs> lovely. Yeah, and my chicken. I added the garlic, and the yeah, and there's my vegetables. Looks awesome. great. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Peter, I went pretty fast there. Did you have something to share? I'm coming back to you. I'm um, just pretty much prepping everything. Uh, my daughter's kind of like doing it. So um, okay. cooking and watching her at the same time. So All I'm right. okay so, though. Okay. I'm up. Awesome. Thank you. Glad to see it. Uh, Rachel, how's it going? We're good. Awesome. Nice to see you. Um, Nikki, you doing okay? Ooh, looks good. We can't hear you, Nikki. Okay, Nikki's on mute, but looks like she's good. Uh, Jenny, Jenny, how are you doing? Me, Jenny? You, Jenny. <laughs> I'm good, you wanna see? Sure. sure. I'm just, uh, how do I change it around? Here's my, uh, I just, my, my chicken's done. I had chicken thighs I needed to start cooking. So um, yeah, I just threw the vegetables in the pan for now, cause I, uh, the, the pan was nice and hot, so I thought I'd take advantage of it. 
Nice. Awesome. Nice. That's great. Uh, Valencia, how's it going? Um, it's going good. I jumped in a little bit late, but um, I'm confused about the carrots. Do we have to boil them or no? No, they can go into the, the frying pan after. Yeah, we can just set them aside after the chicken's done. Okay, okay. you're a little, you're a couple steps ahead. And welcome, yeah. Tamer. Are, were you able to catch up? Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> yeah, I'm catching up. Okay, okay, good. Did we cover any, everybody? Put your hand up or wave at me if you have something to share. Okay, and I know um, just one last thing, David. Phoebe yeah. had mentioned that she had cooked some jasmine rice earlier, so that sounds yummy. Ooh, awesome! I'd love to see the improvisations and kind of. I love when people just kind of add their own flair to it and not follow me directly. It's just awesome. Okay, okay. so I'm gonna get back to it. So my chicken's pretty much all cooked, and I'm gonna be moving over to the front cam here, so you can kind of see it. I chopped it up nice, right? I do have a bowl set off to the side. And this is kind of, if you're gonna be using the one pan method like I am, this is almost kind of like a bachelor's meal. Like <laughs> when you live alone, or if you just don't wanna use a lot of plates and don't wanna cook I mean, clean a lot, I like to just put it off into one bowl. And we'll kind of go back to, uh, to that in a second. And we'll all, everything we add in, cook, we'll add it back into this bowl and it'll be slowly reintroduced. So with that said, we can get started with our Asian stir fry veggies. This could be any kind of vegetables you like. It could be like corn, it could be mushrooms, it could be anything. Today, I just wanted to provide that the fact that if you don't wanna go buy fresh vegetables and you know you're not gonna be buying it today, um, you can go get these. These are only about five bucks. They're, if you wanna splurge and have four bucks more, you can get a bag that's almost like three times the size of this and it's like this big. Uh, it is quite, it's quite economical, especially if you just want to throw it off to the side and not worry about it, right? Maybe it's something you want to cook within the next two weeks of your shopping. Yeah. And with that said, we're going to rip it on open and we're just going to throw some onto our pan here. And it doesn't matter if there's some oil there or not. Sometimes we have oil left over from our chicken, which can be helpful and it's nice and flavorful. And we're just gonna throw a good amount in there. And then everybody I understand for the most part either got the Asian style or the Bang Bang Bangkok style, which is just like baby corn, peas, carrots, and sometimes water chestnuts. And we're not gonna put our fresh vegetables in right away. If you are ahead of me, I would let these kind of cook for a little bit longer before throwing some fresh vegetables in there. It will kind of just add that. The fact that they are freshly frozen will kind of add to like the, they will fry a little bit better. Um, if you want, I could encourage you, I'm just going back over there. <laughs> uh, if you really want, oh, I think I messed up the bottle. So I'm just going to switch to a different one. Apologies. I always like to encourage, just put a little splash on here just so none of that sticks to our pan. Uh, I know at my pan at home, <laughs> the centerpiece right here is the part where everything gets stuck. And we're just gonna kind of saute these. And we're gonna, if you want, you can turn up the heat to high just to kind of get that nice cook in. And we're just gonna keep that going. And it's been about five minutes or so. So let's check on our rice. Of course, we always kind of maybe kind of open it away from us because we don't want it to all that heat to come right at us. Sometimes it's really hot. Right now mine has cooled quite a bit. I'm going to put off one of my the lid to the side. And this rice is actually turning out quite nice. And we're going to actually be adding this last. So if you are ahead of me and you have your fresh vegetables cooked, you have your uh, frozen vegetables cooked and you have them all in there, uh, you can start on scrambling eggs and then just kind of keep them going. 
and stir them up. And this will always be our last part. Um, one thing I do kind of encourage, and then it won't, we won't be having it today, is that if you have a moment uh, and this has been able to cool off sufficiently, I would throw this into the fridge until that is done. Uh, I like to think um, cold rice tends to fry a little bit better, but realistically it's all the same. And it's going in our, our tummies and will give us that nourishment. And there's not too much to say. So if anybody has anything to check in with me or ask questions, this is a great time to do it. Or Karen, if you have any teachings, this is also a great time to chime in. Because right now we're gonna be kind of just watching and cooking. I really love all the um, special ways that everybody is uh, individualizing their meals today. We have chicken thighs we have extra veggies you know someone's made a different kind of rice you know extra seasoning different things like that so i think it's really awesome and rice and vegetables and meat is all you know you could add any kind of meat chicken uh, beef you could even do pork um I've, I bought a rotisserie chicken for me to have for supper before I came on. You could even use that. And I've actually made fried rice with leftover uh, takeout rice oh, from, wow. from the, um, the Chinese restaurant. And that worked out really well. Um, so you can really do anything so diverse and uh, there's so many possibilities with it. And if you prefer, you could also do a, a vegetarian option where it's strictly, you know, as many vegetables as you can pack in there. Um, all, the, all the food helps to nourish our bodies and the community time that we have together and seeing each other and learning together is also a part of what strengthens our, our um, mental health, our emotional health our physical health and our spiritual health too. So I'm really, really happy to see everyone. And I see that Cassidy, um, she had some trouble with the Zoom link. How are you doing, Cassidy? Yeah, just checking and let me know if you need to kind of backtrack over any uh, different parts of the recipe. It shouldn't be too hard to catch up. Um, and I wanna make sure everybody's cooking on time. David, there was a question about uh, from Nikki. Uh, where do we add the onions and the garlic? And when are we adding the fresh carrots? So I'm actually, I was just getting right onto that. So that's a perfect segue. I'm going to fall over there to our thing. So we have these kind of browning and you kind of see it. It'll be kind of coming in. And then realistically, you can add them right about now. Um, I always like to add a little bit of the onions and garlic. If you have some left over or you added more, this is also a great time to add it. This is that extra flavor and kind of get it going. And again, you can always just keep this up to like medium to high. Uh, that's where I'm gonna kind of keep it. And it's gonna just kind of saute to the right amount. If you like, you can add a little bit more oil. It is kind of a bit of an oily kind of a dish. So keep that in mind. Again, like I said before, if you really want to give it that like restaurant flavor. The oil that they use is sesame oil and you usually can find that in the international aisle. But usually I add uh, the fresh vegetables now and you kind of just mix them up so that, like any layers of the onions kind of spread a little bit better. And yeah, and one thing, one awesome thing that Karen mentioned today was that like, we are kind of loading up quite a bit on veggies. Uh, and that's one thing, the one thing I really do want to bring attention to it's kind of the Canada food plate. Uh, and then like, I won't talk too much about nutrition or yak your ears off because I re realistically how you choose to eat and what you can afford is really none of my business in that sense. But if we have, um, if we were able to kind of make some more conscious choices and add some more vegetables to our diet, whether that be uh, frozen or whatever, the Canada food plate does kind of recommend to have like half your plate to be vegetables. And that's why kind of why I'm loading up on veggies today and kind of like having our meats and our eggs kind of be supplementary to that. Um, and then when it comes to come together, it does taste scrumptious. 
So one thing I also like to ask people or not ask, uh, include, and this is, these are optionals. Unfortunately, we weren't able to kind of include these into the, the kits today, is that if you really wanted to, you can add some teriyaki sauce to this. It kind of does fry it up nice and easy. If you really want, you can actually put the soy sauce and kind of just do a little bit. I like to do it at the end. So, but it's really up to you how much you want to add. So I'm just adding some flavor and just some enough. It is pretty salt heavy, so keep that in mind. Um, that's why I kind of only use a little bit of drops just to give it that flavor for all of them. And I always just put that last bit of uh, things there. And if you were asking about the green onions, I do, you can put them in now. That is an option. I always like to kind of put the green onions raw on top. It just kind of gives it that garnish. And then we're just gonna wait until these kind of are fully cooked. And, and we're, we can start on our eggs right away and we'll be quite, quite done. Actually, I think it's a great time just to make sure we're close on time. I'm gonna call it quits on these guys and I'm gonna switch over to eggs. And like I said, if you are gonna pull the bachelor style like me, one bowl, one pan, just toss them all in because because they are all fully cooked. You can put them there, it can be a plate, it doesn't matter. I'm just gonna lower this heat a little bit, keep it off to the side. And I'm gonna crack some eggs. Uh, where is my bowl? And my container here. I do like to crack at least um, three or four eggs. You, your mileage might vary depending on how big your family is and how much you guys like to eat. If you guys are meal prepping, I would include, encourage you to add more. Always be careful of those eggshells. See, I see an eggshell in mine. I'm going to pull that out. It's not a fun thing to kind of get stuck in your teeth or bite down onto. But we're going to do that and put all the eggs off the side. And of course, when working with eggs, we always wash our hands after. If you're silly like me and can't crack an egg properly. <laughs> I don't know how often I cook eggs, but I still can't seem to not get yolk on my fingers. And that is okay. So realistically, our cooking levels are all different sizes. And if you have a fork, or actually, I'm just gonna save myself some trouble. I'm just gonna pre-oil this just a tiny smidgen. Go back right over to our oven and put a little bit there. And we're just going to pour our egg straight on in. And we're going to scramble those with our scramble those with our spatula. Break that yolk. Just kind of don't let it sit. Just bug the heck out of it. And, and these should take shouldn't take too long to cook. I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with how to cook eggs. If you aren't, please don't hesitate to ask. There is no stupid questions and we're all on our own different parts of learning. I, for one, have been a good cook for a good part of my life <laughs> until I started living on my own. So yeah, it's never too late to learn. And hopefully you get to learn a little bit more today. And again, we just bug it. If you really want to add a little bit more, I like to fluff them up by adding some milk. And it really just adds that fluffiness. And we just keep bugging it. Like we don't let it sit. We scrape up and we keep adding to it. Again, just like scrambled eggs, right? And then if you are ahead of me and you have all these steps done, uh, you don't have to put these eggs off to the side. You can start adding all your, all your vegetables that you had prepared earlier and just toss them into our container here. And yeah, and then reheat them, refry them together and add our rice. So this while David is uh, finishing up with the eggs, you don't need to spotlight me. <laughs> Um, I wanted to mention that we would love to see your pictures of your finished product projects today. Um, we'd love to have some feedback about uh, 
how clear the recipes have been. And the last thing is uh, please be sure to renew your interest for next week. Okay, and looks like we're almost ready to finish up. All right, awesome. So I can, are you done over there? We're good? Yeah. Awesome. So my eggs are pretty much done. You might be ahead of me. Maybe you're a pro at cooking. Um, again, one bowl, one pan, just toss them all in. Get them all in there. If your chicken's kind of looking a little bit too big, chop them up, mix them up in there, get it going. And as you can kind of see, I do have a little bit more um, stir fry ingredients than anything, and that's okay. And I'm just gonna go put this down. I'll be right back. I won't be one second. And again, we're gonna just let that kind of cook a little bit. And then with our rice, now that's cool, we're gonna mix it up. It should have a little bit of that um, soy sauce in there, kind of give it that browning. And we're just gonna add it on and just grab a spoonful. Because sometimes what happens is that like, it's kind of like spaghetti. Sometimes we cook too much. So just grab as much as you need and mix it on in. Don't add it all at once, just because sometimes it can be a little bit much. But look at right there, and it's turning out pretty nice. And it's looking pretty scrumptious. Mmm. Just gonna add a little bit more rice, just kind of that filler. And what's really nice about this recipe, and it, it can be really satisfactory for big guys like me. And it's not too costly, if I'm being quite honest. Uh, especially if you, you tend to buy your things in bulk. And you can actually find a lot of these ingredients at your local small grocery stores too. And you can find some of this stuff at things like Walmart and everything like that. And look at that, that's coming in pretty nicely. And then we're coming up on our time. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more. I'm just gonna let that sit for a moment and check in with you guys before I add my green onions. How is everybody doing? Is there any parts that I, you guys lost me at or we're all eating? Yeah, and we're guys, scrolling through the homes, looking at the beautiful meals that the, that everybody's prepared. Yes, I was Jen, Jen and Joel. There's Nikki. Looks good. Looks wonderful. Mm. Did I miss anybody else? I want to see. Oh, that looks yummy. Wow, Rachel, that's oh my. Mmm. Mmm. -mm, right. Has anybody ever prepared a dish like this? Maybe it is kind of easy, maybe it's not, but hopefully you learned something today. Never done it this way before, but I really like it. it turned out good. It yeah. looks great. Good job, you guys. And Yum. I always like to add my green onions on top and just garnish things. You can add like your, I'm gonna go to the overhead shot here. I'm just gonna carry it with uh, oven mitt. Always be careful, these are always hot. And that's what it kind of ends up looking like which is nice and yummy. Mm -hmm. and again, you can always like change up the ingredients. You can change up the type of rice you use. You can, uh, you can add a little bit more oil at the top. Hopefully you let, let that fry a little bit more if you are gonna do that, it gives it that flavor. Um, yeah, and it's quite tasty. You can do this with teriyaki sauce, that kind of things quite often. You can even substitute the, the rice for noodles. I've done that in the past, whether you get like the fancy noodles or even just get Mr. Noodles. As long as you cut, kind of fry them, it's gonna turn out pretty well. And I think it's pretty good. I'm gonna place this down because it's quite hot. And hopefully everybody enjoyed today's recipe. Uh, when I do get to eat it, it's gonna be quite yummy. I do like adding um, some sriracha sauce or any kind of hot sauce. It's so hey, yummy. I don't know what you guys, I, I, uh, I don't know what you're doing with the vegetables because I got lost. Oh, can I see where you're at? Because I, well, I tried to show you, but you weren't paying attention. Okay, this is the dish and then those are the vegetables. Are we you supposed can, to eat them? Uh, throw them on in, throw them on in to fry them with it. Oh, like the vegetables? Yeah. 
Yeah, oh. you can just strain them. Strain, strain them, them and, and then toss them. them in. Okay, and then they all just, they all mix together? Yeah, just mix them all together. <sighs> all right. Apologies for not missing there. Sometimes it is kind of hard. Our camera's like way over there, my like screen and like things over there and it's sometimes space throughout the way. Really do apologize about that. Yes, my apologies too. And if that should happen again in our future classes, um, put something in the chat. That's the easiest way to get my attention. Okay. And I'm trying to um, check in with everybody and answer questions that are that come up. Yeah, apologies. So yeah, again, just leave a, leave a DM us, message us, even speak up to be honest and just uh, and ask me the question again. Sometimes I'm a little bit hard of hearing. Sometimes there is some technical difficulties. I do apologize about that. But yeah, just strain that, fry it on in, add some soy sauce, whatever you like, and it should kind of pop up nicely. And with that said, we are kind of uh, heading up time and I do see people munching out like you guys. Hi. <laughs> Looks um, great. And with it's that said, we're gonna end it for tonight. Do we have anything to uh, end things off with, Karen? Or are you good? I'm, I'm good. And thanks again for joining us. Make sure you let us um, see your photos. Um, what are we? Hashtag food is medicine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Food as medicine. Inbox us and show us what you've cooked and make sure you renew your interest if you want to participate next week. I think we're doing pickerel burgers. Yes, we're doing pickerel burgers. We're going to try to fry up some fish in a different way and make some burgers. And awesome. fries. <laughs> oh, yeah, and fries. Air yeah. fryer. Thanks. Woo. <laughs> with that said, I hope you guys have a nice, awesome dinner. And I'll see you guys next week. Thanks, Thanks David. David. Thanks, you. Have a good day.